Welcome back. I'm Olivia Flavius from Mayant.com and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys a DIY big bow tutorial. Okay, big bows are all the rage right now with Love Shack Fancy, Shabby Chic, and Romantic Decor in general making a huge comeback. This bow I created using a pillowcase that I found at the thrift store and that one I used a big giant sheet. So these are actually pretty easy to make. You guys just need a little bit of creativity, some hot glue, and some pretty fabric. Um, also, I'm hosting a giveaway. It's going to be a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. That is going to run through the month of February, and I'm going to leave the giveaway instructions in the description box of this video. You guys don't want to miss out. This is my sixth season on YouTube, so go back and check out the rest of my DIY fun tutorials. I love to craft and decorate on a budget, and also pop over to my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook page where I share daily crafting inspiration over there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. Let's make a beautiful big bow using a sheet that I found at the thrift store. I did wash it up. Now I'm going to take this sheet and fold it in half. And once I have that done, I'm just going to cut the entire sheet in half. You want two pieces to create your big giant bow, one for the top big bow part, and then also one for the base. I did have a recent um, follower comment and say that this looked like a butterfly. So I guess this could be a bow slash butterfly tutorial. Now I'm taking one part of my sheet and I'm just folding that in half and I want to take my hot glue gun and hot glue the entire thing together. You can see that I'm running wire down my sheet as well. I had this idea to kind of give the bow a little bit more stability. This part is totally optional. Um, it depends really on where you're going to use it and um, I'm just using floral wire to do that. So again, I'm just hot gluing the edges together and adding that floral wire just to kind of give it again a little bit more stability you can easily hang these giant fabric bows on your wall um, using some little push pins is what I used um, but if you guys have any other ideas on how to hang them let me know so again you're just going to hot glue all of the edges and I am going to be redoing my bedroom for spring I'm going to do shabby chic roses which I have not done in forever if you're an original follower or or a subscriber of my YouTube or Facebook, um, you would have started watching me when I did a lot of shabby chic girly pink things. And I'm kind of feeling that this year. My sister just had a baby girl and so, so excited for her. Congratulations, Gabby. I love you so much. And then I'm just going to go ahead and ruche the center part of my big piece of fabric. I'm going to take a zip tie and simply zip tie it in the center. You could also use floral wire. Um, um, but I have been talking to you guys about the car carpal tunnel that I have in my hands and the zip ties just work so much better. Okay, so for the second piece, we want to make two big giant tails. So you're just going to take your fabric scissors and scissor all the way down the entire um, piece of fabric to make those two long tails. Now, you guys know I really like to dovetail my ends on bows, but for this bow, we're just going to kind of slice upwards direction. So I just took my fabric and I'm cutting in an upwards direction. For this fabric, both sides of the fabric were the same pattern, so I didn't need to worry about that. But if both sides aren't the same pattern, you want to not do that cut together. You want to do it separately, but you just want to create two little pretty ends for your bows. Now, my bow or my material um i don't have a sewing machine actually my daughter does and she can sew but i don't sew i hot glue everything i might cross my fingers ask her if she wants to sew some of my bows one day but she has her own deal going on you know and crafty mom here i want to make some big bows and share with you guys how to do it and no sew option so anyway i'm just taking and hot gluing all the edges of my tails to where they have a nice pretty end i don't want them to have like a scrappy end and i did add um, some wire to them to give them a little bit more stability that's also optional i'm not even for sure if it helped that much i'm taking and i'm pinching the fabric together for both of my tails and then you simply just tie that off with a rubber band or a hair tie which is what i used flop your big bow on top in the center 
and then you can take underneath your tails and just tie that together. I used a zip tie and then with an extra piece of fabric, I wanna cover up my work in the zip tie. You don't wanna see that part. So you're just gonna wrap that around, give it a big dollop of hot glue, and then I took another hair pony or rubber band and added that in to this little extra piece of fabric and also a wire. That way I had some way to hang my bow. Um, that part's optional and we'll see how well that works. This is my first time making a big giant bow in this way. It, I just had the idea pop into my head and I thought, let's try it. So you guys are kind of my guinea pigs. I attached it to the ceiling. Um, and just kind of drape them around my bed. I just did this to kind of share with you guys how it might look if you were doing like a little girl's room, a baby room, or maybe you like me and you like shabby chic. I don't know that I'm gonna keep it here because I have a lot going on with my draping and my curtaining, which I also found at the thrift store. And I'm gonna share with you guys how to do that curtaining if you're interested. But here is the final project. I hope you guys loved it. You can use these bows anywhere. Bridal shower, baby shower, baby's room, girly room, whatever floats your boat and happy crafting. Well, let me share with you guys how to create a fabric bow using a pillowcase. And this is gonna be a trash to treasure project because this beautiful pale pink pillowcase has some spots on it, it has seen better days. So I'm simply gonna cut the entire thing apart. I'm gonna use one piece of my fabric for the top part of my bow and the second piece of fabric for my tails. I wanna trim all the seams off, all the bumpy edges. I just want flat fabric. And if you guys happen to have pretty fabric and a sewing machine, go for it. So what I wanna do first is I I want to fold my um, seam under because I don't want that scrappy seam to be shown. And you guys, I'm a hot glue girl, so I'm using my hot glue gun. You guys use a sewing machine or hot glue or whatever suits your fancy. But I wanna make some nice clean edges. You can also run wire down the edges um, of your fabric and that's gonna give your bow a little bit more shape and stability. The floral wire that I had is an extra fine floral wire. So I think it would have been better had I had um, a thicker floral wire. Also, if you're using a pale color like this, maybe use floral wire that's not green. <laughs> anyway, now that I have that part done and set aside, I'm going to make my tails. So for the tails, you just want two long pieces of fabric and then I cut off the yucky end and then I'm going to just go ahead and um, I want to, you know, fix the ends of this as well. So I I like to dovetail the ends of my fabric for usual, usually bow makings, but I'm just gonna do a slide cut here. The slide cut is going to make those cute little ends of the bow. And again, because I'm cutting this fabric, it's leaving those frayed edges. And so I just want to hot glue all the frayed edges under. And that way when the bow is facing out, because I'm probably gonna use this where I wanna use this um, is possibly in a wreath or just in any little pretty space. And I'm just showing with you guys kind of how you can repurpose and reuse really any beautiful piece of fabric. I don't know if you guys are like, me but you find fabric that you love and you're like oh I would just love to do something with that you can make these beautiful bows I think they look beautiful for baby showers um, nurseries little girls room big girls room um, tied to the back of chairs it's just so pretty and elegant so once I had my two tails ready I'm just gonna take and kind of ruche the two tails together and then tie it off with this hair pony tie and then we're going to add that to the big part of the bow and the big part of the bow i just ruched that together and then zip tied that um, together as well so now that i have these all together and zip tied here is how that looks i want to take an extra piece of fabric and just fold that under and then you can add like a piece of wire um, or an elastic to the back that way you can hang it and i used both i used an elastic and a piece of wire to be able to hang that so these are so so easy to make so fun and a great way to repurpose and reuse you know anything that you need to make a fabric bow with any kind of big pretty fabric but hey great idea for a pillowcase okay i added it to this pretty little wreath that i also found at the thrift store i here's a way you could add it to maybe a pillow um, i've been doing a lot of these coffee dyed filter roses i'm working on a project for that i stayed up for like two hours last night um, rolling roses but anyway i hope you guys are totally inspired and you're loving it and happy crafting 
And now it's time for the star of the show, your favorite little puppy dog, Benji Bear. So sorry for the bad angle here. He's picking out his scarf. He chose the Valentine's Day scarf, which is perfect because we're getting ready for the Valentine's Day home tour. You can see his excitement. He loves going for his walk. I always put a little scarf on him. Then that way he knows it's time for him to go for his walk because I usually walk him after I get home from the gym. We take a quick morning walk um, and then a quick afternoon walk when it's a nice day out. So off we go. If you guys have ever had a terrier before, they're really active little puppy dogs. Benji Bear is three now, so he's calmed down quite a bit, but he does really love getting out and having his walks. And I think it helps both of us, you know, with our mental health. It helps me to get outside in the fresh air. His little ear is lopped backwards. I've got to catch up with him and um, lop that back forward. Um, but anyway, he has a girlfriend on the next street over and her name is Grace. Gracie and Gracie has a sister who's also a puppy um, but Gracie is this beautiful honey colored I'm not for sure really what she is she's about twice his size now here are some other friends Benji Bear was saying hi to they're not out in their yard at this time very often but you can tell they're a little bit standoffish and Benji Bear is kind of being a little bit aggressive with his hellos so maybe kind of made them a little bit afraid but we're going to keep going on about our business thankfully he behaved himself and he's got a lot of sniffing to do so the the secret question for today's video is what kind of dog or cat do you have or animal in general or it's okay if you don't have an animal in general what was your favorite pet growing up um, so that's going to be the secret question for this video I'm giving away a hundred dollar Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway yes my giveaways are back this is going to last through the entire month of February February <laughs> I'll leave um, some um, details in the description box of this video. We love y'all. Happy crafting and woof woof and meow meow to all the kitty cat and puppy dog and all the little critter fans out there. We love y'all. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. What do you guys think about these super adorable bows? I feel like bows are so fun and you guys can really use these anywhere. They're great for baby showers, bridal showers, um, weddings, um, you could even use these in a wreath. You could use them above a bed, above a mirror, and they're so easy to make with just some simple fabric, hot glue, um, a little bit of wire, and some creativity. And you really don't even need to have the wire. That's just kind of an extra touch that I went for. But I hope you guys are inspired to bow up a pretty spot in your home. And I just think bows make everything better. I love big bows and I cannot lie. Hey, listen, I am hosting a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. Look, I could even add it to my shirt. Um, I'm gonna leave the instructions for the giveaway in the description box of this video. It's gonna run all the way through the month of February. I'll ask a secret question within the video and all you guys have to do is comment down below and then I'll choose a winner. Please remember that with any of my giveaways, I don't ever ask for um, any credit card information or anything like that. So I'll simply announce the giveaway winner online and then you guys will email me your shipping address. So just keep that in mind. Also, don't forget to check out the rest of my um, videos. I have six seasons of crafting and decorating using Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and thrift store goodies. I'm a DIY crafty mama and I just love to share with you guys how you can make your homes boutique gorgeous on a budget. So I love y'all to the moon and back. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.